get started with our one minute of mindful breathing. hope everyone had a chance to practice their mindfulness of movement, to be mindful of how you're moving throughout your environment this last week. And today we're going to do something very special. Today we're going to learn about mindful gratitude. Share what you think it means to be grateful or to have gratitude. Okay, today I want everyone to get in their mindful bodies and we're going to close our eyes and I'm going to guide you through a few things to help you recognize what it feels like inside your body, inside your heart, and inside your physical being, um, what it feels like to experience gratitude. Let your eyes close and think of three things you are grateful for. Now, imagine all of those things surrounding you. Notice how that makes you feel. If we can think of those things to make us happy, imagine all the small things in our day that might make us happy. There might be sad things in our life or things that make us angry. If we focus on those things, we will only notice those things. But there are many things in our life that make us feel happy if we focus on them. Sometimes they are hard to remember because they are small 
or because we are used to that. Small things like the sun on your face, a favorite color, a special food, someone's smile, a hug from a friend, playing your favorite sport, art, laughing. There are so many small things that fill our day that are things to be thankful for. Things that make us feel happy and bring joy. So, can you think of three smaller things that you are grateful for? Notice how it only took a few seconds to think of wonderful things in our lives, big things and small things, and how in just a few seconds you were able to change how you feel physically, mentally, and emotionally. It only takes a few moments of gratitude to change our entire perspective on our day. Good job, everybody. Do you remember when we practiced being generous, mindful generosity, and you made a list throughout the week of all the ways that others were generous towards you and you were generous towards others? And also you made a list of generosity that you saw just in your day out about in the world. So. Today, my challenge to you is to take at least the next two days, at least the next two days, if not the whole week, and make a list of all the things you're thankful for, that you're grateful for. A gratitude journal is one of the best things I've ever chosen to do for myself. I keep a gratitude journal, and I keep, I actually have it right here, I can show you guys. And I make sure that I write down all the things that come to my mind each day, even if it's just three things a day or 10 things a day, things that I am grateful for. And then I think about why I'm grateful for them. And when I do my mindful practices, oftentimes I will be thankful and, and mindful of why I am grateful for those things. And even though sad things happen in life, and we have some really rough times. And I'll tell you, this has been a rough year for so many of us. But being grateful in the midst of trials, when it feels like everything's falling apart sometimes, I promise you, you can always find something to be grateful for. And that is our heart's best medicine. So my challenge to you is to start practicing writing down at least three things a day things that you are thankful for, things you're grateful for. And then in your mindful breathing time and your mindfulness time, as you lay on your bed trying to go to sleep, I want you to think about why you're grateful for those things. And I promise you, you'll feel a change in your body and your heart and in your mind. It was so great spending time with you guys today. I can't wait to continue to hear about your mindful journeys. Everybody in your mindful bodies wonderful day.